Hello everyone, I am Silent Death, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Science Harder Campaign. Today, we are going to start with our other vessels that are heading, to heading towards Duna. The Dynamic Duna Refueler 2 is this vessel. There was a Dynamic Duno Refueler 1, but something got bugged with that. When I switched to the vessel, it was just a 2.5 meter tank and a docking port and nothing else. Basically debris. More to the point, we did not have 2.5 meter tanks when we launched this vessel, or the other one. So I really don't know how that messed up. Some kind of glitch in the save file, I guess. When I deleted the vessel, the number of active vessels decreased by two. So I'm guessing some kind of debris and the vessel itself got mixed up. And it's just gone now. So we don't have as much fuel as we were planning on. But then again, we're not planning on doing as much as we originally were going to. Due to us having to update. So we're just going to fast forward to the transition. And for the refueler, we don't need to be too specific about the orbit it ends up in, since it's going to end up docking to the dynamic Duna. Just any kind of orbit where it's captured and then we can adjust it when it's time to dock. We want to get both these guys, the refueler and the commsats, in orbit around Duna before we move the dynamic Duna. Just to make sure that we don't have any kind of distractions while we're trying to land on Duna. inside of the SOI. We'll use Ike to give us a descending node if we can. We're going to make sure that we get an orbit that's at least inside of Ike's orbit to save time. This means we probably want to go regularly. We still have a communications link, so everything should be okay. We'll have to use the <clears throat> timed thing like we did with the other commsats to keep from burning off our solar panels and stuff. Shouldn't be too difficult, but it is something we will have to do. All right, we're 20 minutes from the atmosphere. Target distance, do now. Set to the edge. We want to know one minute before we do that. And that will give us a time for when we're past the atmosphere. We'll set this target. To... Uh, Duna maybe? Alright. I 
think we'll set it towards Duna. Kind of a backup engine anyway. And uh, now, before we get behind the planet, We want a delay of, say, 16 minutes. We'll tell it to deactivate this. And... Deactivate this. Set the delay back to zero. Retract this. And then we'll set the delay to 23 minutes. And activate this. And also, toggle abort. It's like 14 minutes or 15 minutes. Toggle the abort again. That should get all those. This. Should we go ahead and activate that? Oops, that was wrong. Activate at. See it. If I take the activate. Maybe I didn't actually click it. Zero. Okay, there we go. I think we're in range of the short range things. I believe they have the five million meter things. Either way, we should be okay. Deactivate this. We still have communications. That is good. Set this to uh, go 19 minutes. Activate. And then back to zero. I could just leave this closed, but I'm not going to, just in case something happens. Now then, we're going to want to hold. Prograde or retrograde? I think retrograde. Surface, retrograde. Assuming this works. We've got our periapsis down to 16.2 uh, kilometers. Not sure if that's going to work or not, but it should be good enough to get us captured. Now then, it's just a whole bunch of fast forwarding. And we'll have to repeat the process with the uh, ComSat pack. Though that one's going to need to be aligned a little bit better. So will this one, but we can do the aligning later. A little nudge to get our periaptus up. And 
and that is it. We can use the flight computer to do that. Just to make sure everything is okay. And then it is on to the commsat pack. Looks like we still have a bit of a problem. Getting an icon counter. So we're going to have to do another tiny bit of an error breaking. We'll shoot for... 20k-ish. We'll see what that tells us. And this time we shouldn't have to retract anything. I don't think the atmosphere is going to be that big. So, uh, round and around we go. Next up is our commsats. We have a total of six. Of three for Ike. And three for Duna. These are a little bit odd. They only have two of the 50 million meter dishes and one of the 5 million meter omni antennas. They're basically there to connect Ike to the longer range antennas that the short range network has as well as to connect to any ships that are traveling between Ike and Duna. They were launched before we got RCS, so they have a whole lot of Delta B for their tiny little satellite cells. But fine maneuvering is a little bit difficult. Only the base booster stage has a long range antenna so that may be a little bit of a problem what we'll have to do is arrow break then we'll get rid of the top three satellites or just decouple them and they'll arrow break harder while the other satellites the bottom three We'll try for an Ike encounter. And hopefully all that will work. Let's see. We're in roughly the orbit we want to vote. Or we won't. A three hour orbit. That'll change when we eject things. We're going to set our antennas. One is going to be pointing towards the active vessel. And the other one is going to be a pointing towards Duna. And that'll happen for all of these. Anyway, we're going to come over here to the sun side, sunward. We will decouple a satellite and reduce the other two satellites orbits to two hours orbit drop off satellite bump that up to three hours orbit and then bump the other one up to three hours so that we'll have a nice triple satellite coverage of Ike and then we'll kind of do the same thing for Duna the orbit we want for Ike is 249.974 kilometers the orbit we want for Duna for a three hour orbit for Duna, that's 642.039 kilometers. Both well within the Omni range. And that is how we like it. The commsats are in place. So the last thing we're going to do is back here at our Minmus base, we're going to mothball, mothball this station. So we will need someone in here. Transfer you. Hmm, we don't have enough to transfer everybody. 
All right. Oh, there's only two guys here. But that is not the case. Also going to transfer this guy. And I guess Seaman here will have to hang out in the base for a little bit longer. We'll need to send another vessel here to bring a gravioli detector and that'll pick up semen at some point in the distant future. So we will decouple here. Switch to this. Turn on the RCS. Go to docking mode. Then undock here. And back to docking. There we go. Set that as target. Don't really care about a rotation too much. Find controls. A little bit of closing distance. A little bit more. And we should pretty much nail this. There we go. How much food do you have? Enough for five thousand? Okay, that's that's enough for you to lay up. Yeah, you'll be fine. We'll send the other guys. Take up that. See you later. Just on a quick trip back home. No, it's somewhere around in here. About there. Where yep, this is. Fifteen nine. Five, that's a little bit much. All right, thirty will have to do. And we just have to execute this node. Good. You can fly. Our kerbals are leaving Minmus. And with this, we are going uh, to end this episode. Like if you like. Subscribe if you're not. Leave a comment if you have anything to say. I do read all the comments. Thanks for watching. 
and I will see you next time!